My name is Agustin Moreno, and this is my path to math. My current focus right now is a restricted case of the three-body problem. It concerns the motion of a small mass, like a satellite, under the influence of two large ones, like a planet and a moon. This is some Hamiltonian system, so this is some dynamical system that you're trying to make sense of. I'm originally from Uruguay, Montevideo. I grew up in a broken family, and that always affects you. Fortunately for us, we had the influence of our mother, and right? so she was a very strong character and woman, Gabriela Lopez. I mean, she, she not only sort of raised two children, she also raised her two brothers. She is my mentor, if you want. So mathematics was something that grew up in me, slowly but surely in some sense. I mean, I had a great math teacher in high school in the last year, Ana Sonia Martinez. Sometimes she played the role of a second mother to me. And then I started studying engineering because I didn't know that you could do a well, studies in math back, back in the day in Uruguay until I learned that you could, and then I sort of fell in love with it. I even dropped engineering. I was also studying music at the same time, so I kept on doing math and music. At the end of the master's in Cambridge, I realized that I wanted to study some specific flavor of geometry, symplectic geometry. In order to follow my interest, I started a PhD in London. My PhD supervisor, Chris Wendell, at the time was in London, but then he moved to Berlin. So I did two years in London and then two years in Berlin. And then I started my first postdoc in Augsburg in Germany with Kai, who's one of my all-time favorite persons, Kai Schiedebach. He not only taught me, you know, math, you know, okay, I learned a lot about the H principle and string topology from him, but I also learned how to be a better person. After that, I got a, another position in Uppsala in Sweden. And then basically, I ended up here at the IAS. So my current mentor is Helmut Hofer. Uh, he's a big, sort of white-haired, wise German guy. He's my academic grandfather, as I like to call him. Uh, so I mean, I learned so many things from him, you know, from handling academic politics and applying to jobs, as also, you know, grilling ribs and drinking beer. Being a musician, I think, certainly has influenced the way that I approach mathematics. People have different ways of viewing and doing math, but for me, it's still a form of art as well as a form of science. It's never a linear path. It's, there's always so many obstacles along the way. One of the most basic virtues that a mathematician needs is certainly resilience and building this sort of resistance to uh, failure. Stay curious. <laughs>